Are you ready for this? Hello and welcome to another Tune for Media session. Today I'm going to show you how I built this drum robot. It's cheap, it's easy, thanks to Ableton Connection Kit and Arduino. So the first thing that we need is the brain, the Arduino Uno. It's a relatively cheap component, around $15 to $20 online. And you should also download this Arduino software. It's free from Arduino website. And this is where you put some code into your Arduino uh, to make it work. We also gonna need some servo motors. Now they come in different sizes and I found out that the best one to buy uh, for this kind of application is the nine grams micro servo, uh, but with the metal gears. Uh, this one is plastic gears and it broke in five minutes. This one is a little bit heavier, uses metal gears, and it's just a lot more durable. And for larger projects, you can use this type of uh, monster. And this is the 55 grams. This one will probably require extra power source. Uh, the Arduino is actually giving five volt of power from the USB and it can handle these micro servos pretty easily but this one uh, you probably have to use an external power source this is why uh, for for this one i actually changed the ends to a lead and just a power source socket we're gonna need a mdf board pretty cheap easy to find and just cut to size and put everything some kind of a toy mallet uh, make sure it's light enough because I feel like if you put something like as heavy as a drumstick uh, It's gonna be pretty hard for the motor to run some zip ties and a lot of hot glue You're also gonna need some connector cables to connect the motor to the Arduino So now that we covered all the stuff to build this robot uh, we're gonna cover how to assemble everything and how to use Ableton Live to control it. So let's go. Okay, so here's a closer look of the robot. So I simply cut the board to size and as you can see, I just simply put the Arduino, uh, mounted it with two screws and some hot glue just to let it sit properly. And then I put a microphone mount here and just cut a little slit uh, to put the motor in and when you buy a servo motor you're gonna have this type of wing that you can use uh, so you can put a zip tie and secure the mallet with the zip tie and then just put a bunch of hot glue to secure everything uh, together like that servo motors are basically regular motors with a brain attached to it and they turn in 180 degrees uh, so you gotta make sure you know where the zero point is. So it's actually best to mount the mallet after you do everything. So you know where to put it relative to the shape of your robot, relative to the way you mount this robot, because there are no rules of how to assemble everything. This is just my way of assembling this uh, robot. So you'll see that there are three wires coming out from a servo motor. So the one that is brown or black is the ground. And the other one that is uh, red or sometimes orange uh, will be the five volt. And the yellow or sometimes light orange um, will be a pulse signal that should come here to control the angle and the motion of this motor. So you basically take the, the leads here and take some connectors and simply connect them to the right socket. So this is for ground. This one is for the five volt. And the last one is for the pulse modulation. Now in the Arduino, you have one side. So here you'll see you have analog inputs and power. So from the power, we need to connect the power connector to five volts like that there you go and the black one which is the ground to ground like that and lastly you have to connect 
the one that accepts pulse modulation uh, to one of the digital outputs here. So anything with a tilde next to the number of the output uh, means that this output can provide pulse modulations. So you can choose any of them. There you go. And for assembling, that's pretty much it. So last step is to connect our Arduino to a USB like that. There you go. You'll see the light is on. And now we have to apply a pre-made script to this Arduino and connect it to Ableton Live's connection kit. So now that we've connected everything, open up Arduino software and it will open up this script to write code. Now, Ableton Connection Kit is working with a pre-made code that comes in the software. All you have to do is to go in the software to File, Examples, Firmata, and you have here, you choose Standard Firmata, like that. And you can close this one. Now, this is a pre-made script that someone else wrote and you have to upload this to the Arduino. So next, just go to Tools up here and make sure that board is on Arduino Uno and the port is the USB modem and not Bluetooth. And all you have to do is to press here, Upload. Great, and after it's uploaded, uh, it means that the software that runs in your Arduino is this standard Firmata. Uh, which is great because this is what Ableton's connection kit is using. Now let's go to Ableton. Now in Ableton, let's open up a new MIDI channel. And let's go to PAX, connection kit, and choose Arduino. You should choose port USB modem and go to your digital ports and select the port you connected your pulse with cable from the motor. So I connected it to port nine. So in the type, I'm just choosing servo. Great. Now I'm going to open up an audio effect rack and I'm going to map the parameter from this input to one of the sockets here. And now this knob is actually controlling the servo. So this is why I say it's a good idea to mount the mallet after you assemble the robot to see the direction of this servo motor. And believe it or not, but it's not standardized, the direction of each servo motor. Now there are several ways you can control it. You can do it like that. You can just simply create a MIDI clip and basically just draw some automation to make to make it move. Now servo motors are not that fast, so if you want something really fast, you should probably use a solenoid, which is like some kind of an electromechanic valve that moves really, really quick. I feel like servo motors are cool because you can easily attach a mallet and it just looks cool on stage. So you see that this clip is now controlling. So another way to do it is to actually load up a drum rack here and put some kind of a wood block sound and put an envelope follower here and map this envelope follower to the same macro you map the servo so now every time you play you play the note it will control the servo now this is important the only problem with the servo that it reacts kind of slow. So if I just write just quarter notes like that and put the metronome on, it's actually a little bit late. Uh, so if I want to perform with this and I want my loops to react in time with the metronome or with my music, my idea is to actually bring everything back in time. So um, I'm going to create the length of this clip um, two bars. And so which means that also my uh, quantization will be one bar ahead of other things. Instead of bringing these MIDI notes 
on the beat. I'm just gonna bring them a 16th note before, and then you can just keep play the loop from here to here. And now you have a bar that is a little bit ahead of time. And personally, I also made a MIDI Max for Live patch called MIDI Calibration that I could put here. And this is actually just simply a very, very simple patch just to delay the MIDI message a little bit in order to really calibrate um, the hit with the metronome. So let's do something like that. Let's use the table. So that's it. This is how you build a pretty simple and easy and cheap drum robot that works with Ableton Live. And I hope you enjoy this video. And if you like this video, please subscribe for more and see you next time. Stay tuned.